Thanks so much. Um, Find my test. So, so uh, first lesson is we had a great team. Uh, broadly speaking, about sort of half of the team were technical. The other half were thinking about processes and how people behave. Um, uh, this was the, the problem that we uh, came up with. The NHS spent pounds a year on eye tests with of gratuity card. And to demonstrate the problem, I've got two assistants, James and Ruby. Hello, and welcome to the optician. How we can help you? So a couple of weeks back, I misplaced my glasses, and I think they're actually broken. Can you help? Yeah, we just need your optical record card. It looks something like this, uh, and I can help you. I don't have that card with me at all. Ah, then we need you to get to repeat the eye test at our optician, or get your old optician to send this through to you. <laughs> so, Ruby's frustrated. James is about to charge the NHS another 20 quid for an eye test that Ruby doesn't need. Uh, now, I'll with find my eye test. How can I help? So, I'm sure you've seen me time and time again, but I really desperately need some glasses. <laughs> yes, can I have a look at your optical record, please? I'll just scan that. Thank you. <laughs> hey, voila. So, uh, what we set out to build was a tool that essentially takes the grotty bit of paper and puts it into something more. These were the stages we needed to overcome, uh, taking an image, uh, getting it into a structured format, and getting it into something like Google Wallet. Uh, this is a video, and that's always fun in presentation land, um, but it is actually working. So, uh, we've got, is it working? Yes. Uh, that's the uh, bit of paper. Uh, we've uploaded it. We tried different methods. We tried this thing called Tesseract, which is an optical character recognition library, if people know that. But we found that actually sending it off to Google Gemini uh, would be a very fast and efficient way of producing a result. So Google Gemini has done its job. It's cut a data format down the bottom here. It's a format that machines can read. And so we took that structured data and we asked Google's wallet API to read it and create a Google Wallet Pass, which many of you will have in your phones or you'll have the Apple equivalent. There it is, uh, a nice QR code, the thing that James the optician scans the next time that Ruby comes in. So we've uh, built that over the weekend. Next steps are um, the reason you get the bit of card is because of a regulation that was produced in 1989, signed by a guy called Ken Clark, who used to arouse booze in the health service. Anyway, um, he was the health secretary at the time. So that regulation says you've got to produce a bit of card. It could be updated to say you've got to produce a QR code. Um, and we could also incorporate this kind of technology into the NHS app. Uh, so all those millions of people can see their optical records in the app. Uh, if you want to check my itest.org, and if you scan that QR code with an Android phone, we couldn't make it work on Apple's, I'm afraid, but on the Android, we found that that would produce the uh, record that I, that I showed you earlier in structured data format. Wow, you managed to do it. Well done. Thank you. Questions? So the apples of the scan, are they stored in Google Wallet? Are they? And that's where the competition is, is directed to when they scan the QR code. Yeah. Okay. So, oh yeah. Yeah. Um, so the Google Wallet will have, just like your train ticket, the information on it. It's not stored in the cloud or anywhere, it's just in your mobile phone. Um, and then uh, they just scan it and they get all the information out. That QR code we have is what the information they have is. We don't have the actual, we'll have a nice pretty picture of someone on our slides. Um, two questions. Uh, first is just around the scale of the problem. I, I think um, the demo was, was great, but um, how often would this happen? How often would someone, you know, an eye test is valid for two years. Um, and then the second question was around other than a prescription, so what else would you need that information for? So you might put it in the NHS app, but why would you, what else would you need it for, want it for? So we were thinking, uh, to answer the second part of your question, it's quite helpful to have this information uh, because people might need it for their DVLA and eye checks and you could ex uh, also expand this out to things like uh, the diabetic eye well. Um, so there's, there's much more scope beyond just this card if you wanted to expand it into other areas of ocular health. And the other thing we, we thought we missed, look, the NHS is paying money for people to get their eye tested through their lives. 
there is no place you can have your record of how your eyes have changed over the years. It's going to be free with that optician. So if we start to collect that data, you collect it yourself on your device and potentially in the app, you actually get a lot of added health value from being able to see how your prescription. Any other questions? Um, this I think it, I think you're, you're going to offer them choice. Would you like to do it the easy way, Bill? Because it's all off the shelf. The standards are there. Incorporate it into your systems. It's just trivial nowadays to do that. The hard way is we'll pass a regulation to make you do it. Actually, web page I showed you is on the GitHub repository, so you can go there. Anyone who wants to contribute, contribute, please do, and we're all fired up to keep going with it. Yeah.